I'm quite excited about what's going to happen. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, I don't know what's in store for me, and that's the best part, you see. Yeah, I'm, I'm praying that the Lord will use me um, in a way that could astound me. <laughs> oh, I think just based on my past experiences, uh, when I saw this advertise, I was like, yes! <laughs> I would love to do this again! <laughs> Do you know what you were going to expect or was it completely... No, it was completely strange. It was completely strange. Totally, I thought we were going into more of a township. I've, I've grown up in a different social economic environments. So coming back here actually brought a lot of memories back. I don't feel I can teach children or anything, but I just felt the prompting of the Lord to at least experience it and see what he has in store for me. Just be out in the rural environment and meeting people and I love the, the rural church environment, the spontaneity of it, the fact that there's no time constraints, everybody is just, this is Africa time. Because that's what I'm learning with the Lord, you know, that to take things as they come in front of me and, and go forward and try and work, walk in his word. I love the devotionals in the morning and at night because we spend time together. We, otherwise we'd be here and they'd be there and, and we wouldn't be talking to each other. Whereas with the devotional and everything we start mingling and talking and, and things just feel comfortable. Beautiful rural um, yeah, just clean and, and out there. Mud. <laughs> They're hiding. They don't like the video. <laughs> they don't like the video. Oh, such love. <laughs> We have to, eh? We have to. Life or death. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Your Cross all those fingers, even them toes. I think the part was the children's ministry on Friday afternoon, that was such fun and just seeing how the kids just embraced it and just loved it. I loved the children, I loved going to see them. The story and watching their faces as Di was telling them a gospel. And uh, the ones like, me, 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 I know the answer. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. The language was about, about the most challenging, although they interpreted most of the time. Sometimes um, they just start talking and you don't, you don't know what they're saying, but it was wonderful. I think the, the language part has been the most challenging, um, especially with the um, in, in uh, the interpretation, even though the interpretation is good, it kind of labors it a bit, I suppose, and uh, that's what I found challenging. I wish that I at least understood a few words, which um, I don't. <laughs>
just really enjoyed the time here and I'm feeling a little bit down, I suppose, at this stage thinking that we've got to leave this lovely area and the community and just to see the way they pull together and uh, make sure that if, whenever there's a meeting, nobody goes home hungry, everybody has a plate of food and everyone just gets together. I just think that's awesome. Oh, it's definitely the, the, the way that this community is structured, you know, the homestead, feel the life it, it actually reminds me of when i was a kid it, it shows me actually that this sort of lifestyle doesn't change for them i can see it in the way that they cook the way that they treat each other when there's uh, an event everybody's there and everybody knows each other so it's like a wholesome family activity because it's like here's a homestead but then there's another homestead but they're also part of a bigger homestead so i was like that's actually pretty cool you know and that was enjoyable to see them interact with each other and it was nice to actually experience that uh laughing and being with like-minded people and being able to talk any time of day or night about the Lord and what he's doing and um, yeah just it, it adds a whole different dimension to relationships. The most challenging thing for me is actually trying to um, empathize with the Zulu culture as a whole because I, I struggled as a kid I struggled in the later years as well because I don't quite get them you know so that that was predominantly the most challenging thing but the longer i stayed the, lo the easier it got so i reckon if i'd stayed even longer i'd probably be speaking it as well there's been so much fellowship and so much input um i've written notes and i need to go home and go through them and digest and cement different things that um i think are applicable to my life at this point. The way I see it is that there's just too much out there in the world and, and we get attracted by all of it. So what it end, ends up happening is we're getting drawn to things that actually don't matter. Just said thanks for a fantastic weekend. <laughs>